How did this particular case of bird flu uh, end up in the UK? We get bird flu almost every winter, or we certainly have done for about the last five years. Um, last year was particularly bad, in fact, although it was pushed off the headlines by the COVID situation. And this year it looks like being even worse. So plenty of bird flu comes here. It comes in the migrating birds which are flying from the north to the warmer south. Um, you tend to get cases when they drop down to take a rest or to feed on their journey. And they transfer the virus to local flocks, to local wild birds, and to local farmed poultry. And in the case of farmed poultry, if there's a large number of birds which become infected, then there is the very small chance that that virus will pass to the people who are associated with those birds. And that's what's happened in this case. Now, as I listen about this, because is this strain, <clears throat> the H5N1 strain, because we've heard about it before, is that what it is when it's in humans? Is that uh, if it is transmitted or is it the same thing? These are, is that a new terminology? Yeah, no, it, is the same thing. Uh, it is the same thing. Uh, this, this strain uh, was notorious perhaps about 15 years ago. You might remember every swan that fell out of the sky was tested for H5N1 and there was a great deal of uh, concern that the virus might and make the jump from birds to human and to spread and cause a new influenza pandemic. Uh, that has never happened. Um, and a great deal of research has been done into the strain since that time, showing that there are a number of barriers which prevent it happening easily. It's not to say it could never happen, but it does seem much less likely now than it did 10 to 15 years ago when there was a great deal of concern about this, what was then a new virus spreading in the, in the avian populations of the world. 